What is nosocomial infection? Nosocomial infection are also referred as healthcare in associated infections HAI. HAI are infections acquired during the process of receiving healthcare that was not present during the time of admission. They occur in different areas of healthcare delivery, such as in hospitals, long term care facilities, and ambulatory settings. In nosocomial infections, there are different types of pathogens that are responsible in these infections. The pathogens are bacteria, viruses, and fungal parasites. Bacteria is the most common pathogen that causes nosocomial infections. The first species is Clostridium difficile. It causes inflammation of the colon and leading to diarrhea and colitis. Next, virus. There are only 5% of all nosocomial infections that are caused by the virus. And the most common disease is hepatitis, which is an inflammation of a liver that causes a swelling. The last one is fungal parasites. Fungal parasite is an aggressive pathogen that causing nosocomial infections in immune compromised individuals. Method of screening. Routinely screen on admission is a polite oral pharyngeal, rectal and nasal. Colonization was defined as evident of XDRPA or mostly known as extensively drug resistant P. aeruginosa without any apparent symptoms. Infection was defined if XDRPA is identified from foreign. Outbreak factors. First, patient washed water was directly discharged into basin inside patient rooms. This allowed to splash back. For more protection, it should use a dedicated sink for disposal. And the second one is several medical devices were placed in the contaminated area that the workers can spread the XDRPA to other patients. And lastly, patient aromatherapy oil is shared between patients. There is no documented risk of transmitting infectious agent to patient via non-critical items when there is no contact with non-intact skin or mucous membranes. However, this item could potentially contribute to secondary transmissions by contaminating the hands of healthcare workers or medical equipment that will subsequently come in contact with patients. Semicritical item contact mucous membrane or non intact skin. The example of semicritical items are non invasive flexible and rigid fibrotic endoscope, endotracheal tube, anesthesia breathing circuit, and cytoscope. All those devices should be free from all microorganisms. However, small number of bacteriospores are permissible. For cleaning, they require high level disinfection using chemical disinfectants such as glutathione hydrogen peroxide, and auto fetohydahide. High level disinfection is defined as complete elimination of all microorganisms in or on an instrument. We'll start with critical glass. It concerns a high risk infection, so it's anything about things that goes into the sterile tissue and places. Part of the critical places is your organ, basically your brain, liver, stomach, and the fourth are tissue unifying materials and instrument. So the first is dissecting and cutting instrument. We can see is scalpel. It's a very sharp blade. It is used to make an incision and opening onto the skin, the muscles, and it can even be opening into the bones. And the second is scissors and the scissors can be used to create an opening or enlarge the opening bigger. <laughs>